Hello beautiful and amazing people. This is Veronica of Higher Realm Holistics. Veronica Blu-ray, if you will. And my professional name is Veronica Jean Lewis. Energy healer, holistic integrative health nurse, empathic medical intuitive, Blu-ray starseed. <laughs> and I'm um, here today. I'm finally making this long-awaited video took me a while to make it because I wanted to make this absolutely beautiful presentation for you instead of one of my um, half-assed drawings. So I took the time to actually make this this slide um, for evolution of the self for the new age of Aquarius, which is we're in the new age of Aquarius. Sorry for the planes and sounds. I'm staying in the city and unfortunately I'm right next to the airport, but um, hopefully we won't have too much interruptions. Now, as you could see, anyone who's taken a psychology class or sociology class will recognize Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And right next to it, I have a pyramid showing the basic ascended chakra system because our chakra system has changed already or is changing. Mine has already changed. Once I completely incorporated my higher self, which I did while in 4D, my chakra system changed. And how I know it changed was I had a aura and chakra photography done. It's like curling photography, but you put your hands on it. It's more high tech. And um, I knew something changed. I knew it did. And my oversoul told me in order to get confirmation on how I have evolved and changed and how my physical system, my energy body has changed is to go get this done. And I was doing a holistic health fair. And sure enough, somebody showed up with one of those machines. I've never even seen one before. So I went and I had it done and she was shocked. I wasn't surprised. I, I, found, I was like, wow, I found it funny because, you know, I'm always guided correctly by my oversoul and by the universe and she's like what is this why does your chakra system look so strange and I was like I don't know I just didn't feel like talking or sharing but uh, as you can see you see the uh, I put in the basic chakras which are those are the basic chakras you come into this earth plane with everyone comes in with this chakra system intact but as you awaken and as you ascend it's going through ascension that your chakra system starts to change. And the first thing that changes is that your sacral chakra and your root chakra, they actually merge. I wish I had my picture on me because you get a printout. I don't have it on me because I'm out of town on business. But as soon as I have it, I will post it. I'll put it on my, um, on my page, which is higher realm holistics that is my um youtube channel and also my website higher realm holistics.com i will definitely post it because uh usually your sacral shock your sacral chakra and root chakra are separate but in my picture you don't see them they're actually merged it's like one big thing i was surprised to see that um and also the solar plex chakra looks different and and a, an ascended chakra opens up when you reach a certain point of ascension, uh, your higher heart chakra, which I didn't know of until I actually went to the stage, uh, until I reached the stage of my higher heart chakra actually opening. And I was like, what the heck is that? And then my oversoul said your higher heart chakra and showed it to me and it was pink. And what I was also shown was a picture of Jesus Christ and Mary and how um, you will see in many photographs of them you see the heart and then on top of it you see a flame and the way it was explained to me by my oversoul was that that pink that that flame that you see on top of them that is their higher heart chakra that is the chakra of divine unconditional universal love and then when mine got ignited, it was, it, it was a love you, you don't, this is not even a love you've even felt for your children. It was so different 
And it was literally like you were connected to everything and everyone in the universe. And as mine became brighter and brighter, my higher heart chakra, I even I felt so different about Gaia herself. I felt the planets it's like they were greeting me. It, it's it's unreal when it finally happens for me. That's the way it was. And the regular heart chakra, the green one, is your human love. It's human love. That's the way it was explained to me. And your higher heart, your higher heart chakra, is the divine, unconditional, universal love. Then the, my throat chakra and my my uh, photography was really big. Throat chakra was huge. And then the third eye was very bright and then the crown chakra you were able to see and then there was a soul star chakra which my oversoul told me I will see a soul star chakra and the lady who was doing the photography she she was like oh oh she goes you know I've seen that in a couple of people they usually like Reiki masters are you a Reiki master I was not a Reiki master yet I said no I'm not a Reiki master she goes do you do healings I said well since I was a kid it's something that just came natural. Um, and uh, she, uh, she was very shocked. And she's like, Yo, yours is very big. It looks like an angel almost. She goes, I just call it an angel, an angel chakra. I'm like, okay. And uh, it's your soul star chakra, which is actually the connection between you, your material self, your... your um, as in material self, your, your energetic body to your over soul. That's the way it was explained to me. Your soul star, your soul star chakra and your earth star chakra is what connects you to Gaia. And it's about two feet below your actual feet. And of course, there are many other chakras. You have chakras in your hands. You have chakras behind your knees. You have uh, chakras in your groin. There are chakras in different places of your body. But these are what was explained to me by my oversoul as the basic ascended chakra system that is what comes online when you hit like they come online at certain points in the ascension process now uh, each chakra um, relates to a stage in Maslow's hierarchy of needs and as you could see in between, I have how, how each one is connected to the different realms and what governs that realm. Okay, so we're going to take it from the bottom and work it up. Okay, in Maslow, the lowest is your physiological needs, which is breathing, food, water, shelter, clothing, sleep, your basic human needs, which is, of course, the root chakra, right? The root chakra is what helps you manifest all your needs. And right above that is safety and security, health, employment, prosperity, family, social stability, and that's your sacral chakra. That also covers reproduction. Both those things are covered or, or in the 3D realm. That is what's important in the 3D realm. Okay. And what governs that is the ego. And it's focused on the body and mostly just the body, the needs of the body, which is what the 3D matrix tries to keep you in. It tries to keep you in that lower, that lower section. And it goes partly into the solar plexus region now the solar plexus starts crossing over it's that um, crossover point between the solar plex and the sacral chakras the crossover point for the 4d realm of consciousness subconscious mind that starts going into the mind and it goes into the heart chakra the heart chakra covers self-esteem and that it all goes into the mind. It goes, and the, but the self, the but the um, heart chakra is part of your subconscious also, and is part of I higher 4D, mid to higher 4D. 
to have that type of love. It's, it's still human love, though, but to have that sort of love where it's not so much as selfish love because that love and belonging in the solar plex region, that's actually more of a selfish love. That's why it's in the lower 4D and it crosses over into the 3D realm. That's part of that matrix that we're breaking out of right now. And then you have your higher heart chakra. Now the higher heart chakra is, is what crosses over into 5D. Lower 4D, 5D, it's in that crossover region. Once you reach that crossover region, that is when your higher heart chakra, I could just blooms, blossoms, burst. Mine was like a burst in the middle of meditating. It was just like, what is that in my chest? That's what it felt like for me. It was very dramatic to say the least. Glad I was home alone when it happened. Now that goes, like I said, that and that is governed by the higher self, the soul. And uh, in Maslow, it, it's covered under self-esteem, which is morality, creativity, acceptance, acceptance of yourself and acceptance of others. Experience your purpose, your meaning and inner potential. That is knowing who and what you are, understanding your soul purpose. When you get up to that point, that is the higher realm, the higher fourth, fifth. Now to get, to go past Maslow, okay, that's all well and good, the self-actualization, right? That's the higher fourth, the lower fifth. But once you get completely into the fifth, you're out of the fourth, you're completely into the fifth, you're still, you, you have that soul star chakra. But you actually, you start incorporating the way it was shown to me, if this doesn't resonate, please find someone that does resonate with you. I'm just telling you from my perspective what I was shown by my higher self so I could understand. Once you hit that higher heart chakra region, you've incorporated your, your higher self and you start incorporating your oversoul. Your oversoul is the aspects of source creator father mother god however you want to say it that makes up your particular soul i did make a video um last week talking about the different soul aspects different souls like i said my soul aspect is my soul is a blu-ray soul and it's a master blu-ray because the aspects of source creator that make me up that make up my particular soul are from different ascended masters there are angel souls there are ancient earth souls that are birthed from Gaia cosmic souls as I was told those are birth of the cosmos um, from different planets like you're from like a Venetian soul or Palladian soul and there's not to say there's not a mixture a mixture mine I just know because I met each and every one of my soul aspects already and I'm at the verge of completely merging with them because I'm at the verge of going into 5d I'm I know I'm a master soul you could be master angel you know or you could be a cosmic angel master whatever you know, that's something you have to find out for yourself through meditation. Um, and like I said, all the clients I've had so far, it wasn't planned, have been star seeds. Star seeds or um, ancient souls, that earth souls that have come back to experience the ascension process along with Gaia. Um, but they've mostly been star seeds different starseed souls and um, I was able to connect with their soul and I was able to help them understand what their soul is, what type of soul, what they're here for. Um, usually the people come to me, they have sort of a hint or a nudge and it's just they haven't been able to, you know, point it out and figure out what the heck, what am I, what's going on with me. Um, so I'm glad to do that. So I'm a trigger. 
like I said, I am a trigger. Um, I am here to help awaken other star seeds. So um, I'm in that wave. Okay. So that is my little diagram. I hope it helps everyone understand. Feel free to print it out. Um, any questions? Uh, you could post the questions, I'll answer you. Anything more personal, feel free to email me at higherrealmholistics at gmail.com. Anything more in depth, feel free to go on my website and make an appointment. And uh, we could do a remote session or if in New York, if you're in New I'm in New York for a couple more weeks, we can meet up or um, my office is in Miami Beach. So I'll be back home really soon. If, uh, if anyone's interested in coming to my office, you can visit my website and check out my office. It's really cute. <laughs> Decorated myself. So um, that's it. Namaste. Best of luck, everyone. And hang in there. We're almost there. Much love.